Her name is Britney Spears, folks. So Britney, Spears. <laughs> <laughs> Britney Crush. <laughs> you wish you were Britney Spears, don't you? Britney Crush, up and coming singer from Hartford. We have her in the studio, Catch a Rising Star. You want to be Britney Spears. She may want to be like you one day, right? Mm. So we have your uh, video from uh, YouTube. You have a new CD out, mm -hmm. uh, Not Another Female Singer. Yeah. Before we get into that, though, we're talking about the haters. Right. When you start to aspire, start to get focused, get a little tension. Right. So now, what do you do now when, when folks start hating? What do you find yourself having to distance yourself from some people, some friends? First off, I pray. I give God, I put everything into God's hand. That's first off. But yeah, I distance myself. That's, mm. that's where it's come right now. It's my circle is small. People who are supposed to be my best friends now are going missing or either bringing negativity towards me. So I have to distance myself. Never be nasty. Never be nasty or negative. But just distance myself just for me. Take care of me. Do you think it's just envy that people haven't found their folks? A lot of folks don't haven't found their purpose. You have. So when folks don't find their purpose, sometimes they resent those who do. Yeah, some people don't. Or sometimes it, it drives from insecurity. A lot of people are insecure. They're not sure where they want to go. And they see not only have I made up my mind, but I'm going for it. And meanwhile, it's like I'm just sitting here and watching her. What am I going to do? And people, they're not okay with finding everybody has their own thing. Everybody's blessed in their own way, mm. whether it's in front of the camera or behind. And some people, they, it's hard to accept that. How would you describe your style as an artist? My style is very different, very genuine, and um, I guess humble. You know, mm -hmm. I always try and talk about topics that are true to me, and um, I mean, that's all. Not another female singer, that's a title for your CD. Now, there's a meaning behind that. What does that mean? If you're not another female singer, then who are you? I'm Britney Crush. Um, <laughs> not Britney Spears. <laughs> right. Not another female singer. I named that because some of the times when I perform, a lot of people are like, oh my God, I've never met nobody like you. Um, a lot of singers nowadays, they don't write their own music. A lot of singers nowadays are... Why not? Why don't they write their own music? Is it lazy or just don't have to get I, I think so. I think because that takes more work. I think it's because nowadays it's okay to just be pretty. That's not... Back then, it was you had to do work. You, mm -hmm. you blew, you performed. Uh, and back then, you performed and you sung live. Oh, since I'm going to dance tonight, I'm going to lip sing. No. Back then, they, lip -sung, they didn't lip sing. They sung and they performed. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, it's I'm pretty. I really don't have to sing that well. I'm not going to hit the notes. And people are still going to love me because I have the newest shoes on. Mm -hmm. We can't do that. We're losing, we're losing what it was to be a, a true singer. We're losing that. How about the business aspect of music? A lot of artists you meet, the great performers, great entertainers, not very business savvy, right. signed some bad contracts, get in a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. Your thoughts so far? What's been your experience on the business part of this? Um, I'm actually going to school for music business and management uh, right now. Yeah, so I'm trying to be smart about it. But how I feel about that is I personally have seen a lot of stuff, and I just started on this journey. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. You're only 19 years old. You just turned 19, right? Right, I just turned You're 19. You're a Leo then, right? No, I'm a cancer. Oh, okay. June you missed 30th. out. You, you, you missed out. Then you should have been a Leo. You missed out just barely. You could have had something special. But you... <laughs> no, cancer, cancer, cancer. <laughs> um, but uh, a lot of people, especially because I'm a female and mm -hmm. I'm young, so a lot of people think that they can take advantage of you. A lot of people say they're going to help you, but as if you're not giving them something they need, oh, they're not going to help you. A lot of people go missing. Okay, I'll be there. Okay. And then it's like, hey, I need this. And they're not answering your phone calls, but then they're on Facebook, so you know they're there. Mm. I mean, it's a lot of stuff. People who tell me, yeah, I'm going to be on the track with you. Yeah, I'll bring you to the recording studio. Some reliability. So you got to rely on yourself. Rely on yourself. So as far as marketing yourself, you're doing some things now. You're on the show. You're doing social media. What kind of things are you doing to market yourself and get the brand uh, out there? A lot of social media. I'm, I'm on Reverb Nation, which is um, a place where I put my music. I didn't put my mixtape out there because I wanted my mixtape to be something special. I don't mm. want I want people to be able to still want to buy copies and it be something more exclusive. But I'm on Reverb Nation. That's backslash Britney Crush. I'm on Twitter, Britney Crush, SoundCloud, Facebook, Britney See, Crush Music, Instagram, Britney yeah. Crush, everything. See, what you have to do now, Britney, you have you have to like the Stan Simpson show. If you like that, we found the artists who come on who like that. Special things happen to them. I can't explain it. It's just you got to like the show first on Facebook. And I don't know what happens. The forces go to work and right. people just blow up. Now, you know what? I did do. I, you like I it? followed you. You did? Okay. I'm following you right okay, now. Okay, well, then I would just say set your watch. Good <laughs> <laughs> things going to happen. So what's next for you? Are you performing it anywhere? Yeah, um, next I'm performing at a fashion show the 25th. That's here in Hartford. Um, I may possibly be doing this youth concert that one of my voice teachers who I went to school with, who actually performed for Maya Angelou recently, okay. she's putting on and just a lot of local community events 
events. I have one this Saturday at Pope Park. Um, I do a lot of community events, and then people just stay updated on my website. So I do a lot of stuff, shows and stuff, just pushing the CD. What's your message for young people who see you and say, Brittany, I want to be like you, I admire what you're doing. What's your message to them when you go there and talk to them? My message is I'm from Hartford, Connecticut. Um, and I did it so anybody can do it. I've seen the same stuff everybody's seen in mm -hmm. Hartford, and I'm here, you could be here. Is that a curse? Being from Hartford, it's not New York, it's not Boston. Mm -hmm. How do you make that work for you? I mean, folks say it's not the big stage, it's a secondary stage, but right. you're making it work, so how do you make it work? Hartford's a blessing. Hartford is a blessing because you're right near Boston, because you're right near New York. And people, it's not acknowledged, but Hartford, we have our own little swag. Uh, I will say, we, so? <laughs> I, I do think so. I don't think it's acknowledged. We have our own swag, so it's What's the swag? How would you describe the swag, the Hartford swag? I mean, I would say that we've seen a lot of stuff, but we don't have the, the negative connotation that comes to it. You know, when you say I'm from Hartford, people don't think like, they don't automatically picture uh, Blue Hills Avenue or Park Street. They're like, oh, Connecticut, mm. right? But then you could still be like, yeah, but I'm street smart. And mm -hmm. they're like, oh. So. Well, you used to travel to Atlanta when you were a kid, right? You traveled to Atlanta. My, my father lives in right? Atlanta. And that's a big music vibe down right. there, right? Babyface was down there, some of the big mm -hmm. artists. So what was that like being, uh, at that time, a wannabe artist traveling to Atlanta and seeing some of the big name artists down there? Um, I, yeah, I went Tyler every- Perry had the big studio yep, down there, right? Every summer I traveled to Atlanta to see my father and my family down there. Uh, at that point, I didn't think that I was going to pursue a singing career, but I grew up, my father was, um, I don't know if you know this artist, Ali, um, Tierra Marie. It's a big, a big music scene they have down there, but it's definitely different than mm -hmm. New York. Definitely different vibe, different vibe uh, way more Southern. Um, they have their own swag as well, but um, definitely a big city. So it got me very versatile because Hartford's not as big. Okay. So it definitely got me more versatile. All right, her name is Brittany Crush, folks. Used to be known as Brittany Melvin. Now she's blowing up, has her own CD, not another female singer. Catch her on YouTube and all her other Facebook stuff. Google her, right? She's yes. there. Thanks to all our guests, Pastor T.C. Brantley, Brittany Melvin. And uh, don't forget, catch us 24-7, ctnow.com slash Stan. Friend us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter for the good folks here at Fox Connecticut. I'm Stan Simpson, Tim Lammers, and the morning news is next.